everyone, it's Garrosh Out of Skill Reacts. We are back to another video checking out Journey to the Savage Planet. So this game has actually been out for a little bit, and now it is actually coming to Nintendo Switch. They actually just released this trailer. When, when did they release it? 21st. Yeah, like five days ago, very, very recently. Um, so if you prefer to play your games on the Switch, now you'll have the chance. And for those who aren't familiar with this game at all, not only will we check out this trailer, but we'll also look at the gameplay of the game so you can get an idea of how it works. But without further ado, let's begin. Let's go. This is Journey to the Savage Planet. Kindred Aerospace would like to welcome you to your destination, wherever that may be. <laughs> We're 65 to 70 percent sure <laughs> you'll be welcomed with open arms. Funny, fresh Let your pioneering hmm. spirit guide you as you grapple up, nice. kick stuff, punch things in the world. eye. So scan and log everything you discover. Remember, though, that we could only afford enough fuel for a one-way trip. So get <laughs> out there. Good luck. No turning back. But yeah, that's the Switch announcement release. So basically, this is... Would like if you were to think of, like, No Man's be. Sky, but it's a lot more cartoony. It kind of, like, Borderlands-esque graphic. No, I wouldn't really necessarily say it. But definitely, like, a, a, a lot... A lot less... Uh, well, no, I would say it's kind of got those graphics. But yeah, it's got a lot of aliens, got some grappling, platforming. You can kick, you can punch. And a lot of scanning and exploration. So I, I would say it's, like, a more, like, chillaxed exploration game but i know there's some combat elements because um hang on let's actually take a look at another trailer for this game this actually shows off some more of the gameplay subnautica ish yeah it kind of has those vibes as well but now we are in outer space so if you aren't familiar with this game turning to the savage planet here's a um a showcase of more of the actual gameplay so you know you've got your astronaut suit and everything some creatures giant eyes And farting burb aliens, apparently. <laughs> snow! Okay, 10 out of 10 game. There's a snow biome. I'm happy now. I want this. Not really. I don't know if I, don't know if I would get this. Slimy! <laughs> so you got jetpacks. You got grappling. Laser energy thing. Some kind of two-headed beaked creature. Bouncy pods. Grapples. So you can kick stuff around, you can grapple stuff, you can punch it. Rolly rolly armadillo guys. Oof! That looked like a Outer Wilds death right there. Big behemoth type monster. Be careful around ice, it can shatter. So I mean... My impressions of this game, so it, it looks kind of cutesy and, and simplistic. I worry a little bit about the story. I, I don't even know if there is a story. This kind of just seems like a, a silly, funny thing where you like dis you see this new stuff. You check out the new creatures, the new biomes you run around. Maybe you even have some like interesting, like challenging fights, like these spinny boys. Like we haven't really seen what kind of weapons you can get. All we've really seen is punching and kicking and grappling. I don't know, like, he looks like he's holding a gun. We've never actually seen him shoot the gun, as far as I can tell. And you've got this big behemoth-type creature. So I don't know what the combat in the game would be like. He would know about our watch. I know those were all graphical bugs, Aaron. There were never any deaths. Spring! But it looks cool. I mean, I'm, I, I don't know if I'd say I'm... Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm not, like, sold. Like, like maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't. It's, it's definitely a lower priority thing. Um... I mean... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's got some... I, I, I wonder what audience, like, this game is marketing to. It feels like it's got some rather childish aspects to it. And that doesn't necessarily need to be a bad thing at all. I mean, it kind of just makes me wonder uh, what the game ultimately is about. The gameplay could be interesting. I mean, I like how everything feels so interactive. I mean, I don't know how many things you can grapple onto, but the whole grapple enemies punch kick thing is cool. The bouncing, the biomes. I just worry that a game like this might get repetitive before too long. But it looks cool. Just what is your ultimate goal? Is it, is it just sandboxy? You, you go around, you scan things, you explore? Or... Or is there actually some kind of story progression? I don't know. That's ultimately the question that comes to me. But I can't guarantee that this is something I would stream. Yeah, yeah, no, there are graphical bugs! Is this in the trailer that player shoots a pistol? Is there? Where is it exactly? Beginning, middle, end? I must have missed it. Let me see. I would imagine the end, because that's where combat was, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. He shoots it here. Okay, so yeah, he, you can shoot the pistol. All right, all right, you're right. It did showcase that right there. What was he holding in his left hand here? So it seems like it's got like a two-hand mechanic 
a duel with me, kind of like Skyrim, where you can have like something in your right, something in your left, because we see various things in the left hand, it changes. Or maybe the right hand is always the pistol, I don't know. What is this? It says grow, I think? Meta... Meta Mahalo? I, I, I can't tell what that says. It looks like some kind of spray canister, maybe to like grow plants or something? I have no idea. Something like 6%? Yeah, looking up to enemy above. Oh, there's another one where he shoots up. Let me see. But he's always holding the pistol as if he's about to take a shot. Yeah, or you can even like hold this goop. What are you gonna do with that goop in your left hand? And there's the grapple gun. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe. I'm not sure if this is necessarily my type of game, but it, it looks cute. It looks interesting. It looks like something you could mess around with. No, 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 just knock on my butt iron bad. <laughs> I don't really think there's much more to be said about this game. Does that, has anybody here actually played this game? Rappy poisons are cute! Has anybody actually played this game? I've never played this game. I've seen it on Epic Games Launcher before, but... I just, it never really stood out to me. You've seen gameplay? Do you like it, Heroes? You seemed pretty excited when you saw that this was going to be the Reacts video for the day. Let me watch the Switch one again. Did they show anything new here that we didn't see there? Because this one's much newer. You got your gun, you shoot the big guy. Kindred Aerospace would like to welcome you to your destination, wherever that may be. We're 65 to 70 percent sure <laughs> you'll be welcomed with open arms. Let your pioneering spirit guide you as you set foot on a previously unexplored world. So scan and log everything you discover. Remember, though, that we could only afford enough fuel for a one-way trip. So Maybe. get out there. You sure like luck. it. Big X poppin'. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate the support. Plenty of upgrading characters or exploration. All right, all right. Maybe, maybe. I'd probably say it's a lower priority game for me. But may maybe I'll check it out in the future. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. At any rate, I would say that is it for the Reacts video. If you like this video, please leave a like and comment. It does help out a lot. I do upload a new video to this channel and my streams channel every single day. So make sure you subscribe to both and hit the notification bell so you never miss out. I do also stream daily on Twitch starting at 12 p.m. Central and ending at 4 p.m. Central. So make sure you follow me there to catch when I'm live. Link's in the description. But we're gonna be. Moving on to Terraria now for the streams channel, so I'll see you there.